Okay, that looks interesting. What about source code? Oh, Hello everyone, and today we will try to make same effect as this guy made. By the way, thanks for an idea. I will post link to his video in the description. But also, we will try to make it better. Let's discuss our goals for this small project. First problem is setup. Just look at it. You need install Node.js, make sure that FFmpg is available, change configs and like, install dependencies. I think it is kinda hard, so we need to simplify it. Secondary is running. Here you need to put your file in specific place, precompile it to use. No, we will make you choose file and run it without any preparation. Also, here you need to download page of YouTube and run it as file, but just do not run it directly on page. So it's our goal. Same with developer console, we will not need it to run your video. So let's start, I've decided to write our project as a user script. For this we will use widely supported plugin for browsers called Tramper Monkey. To install it, you need to just do one click in plugin store of your browser, so it is much easier than install Node.js and FFmpg and also our script will work directly on YouTube page. To create new script just click on icon of our plugin and press create new script button. Then you see some text input so just press Ctrl S to save it and you will see your new user script has been created. Now you can go to YouTube page and reload it and see the plugin is active. Now we can go to our script development page and start writing code. As I mentioned we will ask user to choose file from his machine to run video. So let's create input and text objects and put them, for example, under region text on YouTube page. Next step is to create video object where our video will be played. And create listener where we can get video frame by frame as image. After that let's create function new video which will be triggered by changing the file. This function should assign our video file to an object and play it. Now we need to create canvas on which we will place our frames and resize our video player and canvas to size of our viewport. Also let's create rear which will change size of our objects when user will resize browser window. To see result let's try put our video to all video previews on the page. As you can see it's now freezing because there's a lot of places we need to put our video on. So let's wait a second and you'll see. So... Come on guy! Show me the picture. Yeah! You can see there's a lot of images so it's hard to process them all. Let's wait and we'll sh it will show us another frame. Now we will need a temporary canvas on which we will cut parts of our video. We can know position of each object and its size, so there is no problem to do that. Let's try to do it and see result again. The only thing left channel icons. Let's modify our code a bit and we are ready to go. By unknown for me reason it works very bad in Firefox, but works fine in Google Chrome. So let's change to it. Ok ok, bad joke, now for real.
知らない